So today I want to show you how you can manage your entire Webflow e-commerce site from an Airtable spreadsheet. So literally creating, managing, viewing thousands of different products in your Webflow e-commerce store from Airtable. I'm going to do this all with WhaleSync. So WhaleSync lets you connect Webflow Ecom to Airtable in just a few easy steps. And we're going to go through those right now. So here's what we are going to build today. This is our Webflow e-commerce store with a template called Secret Garden. It's got a few different plant products, and this is all synced with WhaleSync. So you can see these same six plant products all in Airtable with descriptions, categories, and we can click into the variants as well as things like categories right here and there. So if I make an update to one of these, let's take plant venium and let's change this to my special plant. This, if you give it another 10 to 15 seconds, will sync into Webflow e-commerce. So we can refresh this page and in a few moments here, this will be updated. We got my special plant on our Webflow e-commerce site. We can also do the reverse. We can make updates in Webflow e-com. They'll sync back over to Airtable. So with that quick overview, let's get into the step-by-step -step of how you can set this up on your Webflow e-com site. Best place to get started is whalesync.com where you can come to our template packs. So these are pre-built templates you can easily copy. It will get you started and make the sync super simple to set up. So our Webflow e-commerce template pack has a Webflow e-com template and an Airtable template. If you already have a Webflow e-com site, no need to copy this first one. No matter what, you're going to want to start with this Airtable template. So you can open it up. It's going to be that same Airtable I was shown before. By clicking copy base, it will have all the tables and all the fields that WhaleSync syncs with to make this setup really easy. So I'm not going to copy it. I've already done that before. So we've got our Webflow site, Secret Garden, and we have our Airtable base here ready to go. We're now ready to hop into WhaleSync. So in WhaleSync, you're gonna to wanna to hit Create New. This is how you get started and set up a new sync. And let's start by connecting Webflow. So with Webflow, you simply hit Authorize and then search for the one you want. This is gonna be Secret Garden Demo. And we're good to go. Similar idea with Airtable. We're gonna grab Airtable, authorize it. We're gonna need to just go into our Airtable base and copy the space sharing link. And once we've got that, we can pop that in, authorize, and just quickly click add a base and grant access. Now that we've connected Webflow and Airtable, we can move on and we're gonna to wanna to map our tables together. So if you've used the template, this auto map will come in handy and will automatically connect the Webflow e-commerce tables that we sync with with the Airtable tables that you're gonna to wanna to manage that data from. You'll notice things like products and variants, uh, categories as well, and we'll get into a little bit of what product option sets mean. Here in the middle, we'll pick two by sync and we'll move on to mapping fields. Similar to the map tables page, if you are using the template, this page is going to be incredibly easy because WhaleSync will auto map all the fields that you need. So you literally won't have to think about it at all. You can just come in and this will all be mapped for you. You may want to add some custom fields. So if you've added custom fields in your products uh, collection, as an example, you can come in and hit add a field. So for this example, there are custom fields for sun and water, secondary images, etc. We're not going to do this for now. Let's just start with what we have out of the box with the template. So this has been saved. We're good to go. We can turn the sync on. So once this is turned on, we'll hop over into Airtable and we'll show you exactly what this looks over on that side. All right, over in Airtable, we're gonna see all of our products start to populate in with their descriptions, their product types, their categories, etc., etc. The same thing with the variants. So you'll see the variants and their images for all of our products. The last thing that's gonna happen is we'll start to see the products and the variants get related. So you'll see these happening live right here. It's pretty cool to watch as it happens, um, but this is whales like in action making that connection between products and variants. Uh, so once WhaleSync has finished up that initial sync, we can now use Airtable to manage our Webflow e-commerce store. All right, so let's get into the details. If you've been following along with this template pack, you'll probably notice some things like product option sets or field for initial variant price. These are really important to making the sync work, and I promise they're super simple once you know what they're actually talking about. 
So if we go into our Webflow site and we pull up an actual product, so let's take this one here, Plant Venium, as an example. So we can take a look and see everything that's in Webflow Ecom and how that translates to what's in Airtable. So first of all, obviously we've got the name, Plant Venium, Plant Venium. We've got a slug field, a description field. This should all be pretty straightforward and what you'd expect if you've used our Airtable Webflow sync. Now, where Webflow Ecom gets a little more complex is when it comes to product options and variants. So if you're familiar with Webflow Ecom, they let you create variants of a product using option sets and options. So size, for example, is an option set um, for this product plant venium, and the specific options are one pack, three pack, six pack, right? Those options are what creates the three different variants of this product. So you've got a one pack plant venium, a three pack plant venium, and a six pack plant venium. The way that all translates over into whale sink is if we go to plant venium and take a look at the variants, right? These same three variants that you're seeing here in Webflow Ecom exist here as a link record in their table to the variants table. You can find them right here. Plant venium, one pack, three pack, six pack. So those are how you work with options and option sets which ultimately produces variants in Airtable. Now, the last bit to call out is something called initial variant fields. So we've got initial variant price, and we keep going, we'll see initial variant billing method and initial variant compare at price, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the reason for this is that when you create a new product in Webflow Ecom, and let's just save this one and create a new one. So if we, let's actually uh, slide this over a bit. If we create a new product here, so let's do my new Webflow Ecom product. Right? Um, and let's just go ahead and give it a price. It requires a price for you to create that first product. So we will create this. And let's also publish it. Well, we can publish the site in a second. So you'll notice this new product in Webflow Ecom synced over into our Airtable table and created a first variant, so a first SKU. And this all happened automatically in Whale Sync and it all got related and worked well for us. Now, if we wanna sync the other way, a new product from Airtable into Webflow, so let's call this my new Airtable product, right? Webflow will reject this because it doesn't have a price, right? Just like you saw on the Webflow side when you try to create a new product, Webflow needs you to have this price field. You can't change that. And when I just type in my product name over an error table, there is no price. And so the way that we solve that is with what's called these initial variant fields. So I'm gonna to need to put a price in here, which is let's do the same thing. We'll do an initial variant price of a thousand. And we can put other things if we want. So you don't have to, but if you want this initial variant to come with a billing method or compare at price, stuff like that, right? Downloads, anything else, you can do that all with this initial variant set of fields, um, or alternatively, you can just let it get created and synced. And there we go. My, air, my new Airtable product synced on over. Um, you can kind of see this updated um, back in our Airtable and you know work with it from there. So that's a quick overview of Webflow, e-commerce, and Airtable, how you sync all the product option sets product options, as well as how to use initial variant fields to make sure that you can create products in Airtable and have them show up on your live site.